It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you a group of incredibly talented young women who are all members of our Rising Star Champion Quartets. They not only represent the future of Sweet Adelines, but are active participants in inspiring and shaping the Sweet Adelines of today. Ladies and gentlemen, under the direction of Caitlin Castellino, please welcome the Starlets. My name is Erin Cardine, and it's an honor to be invited to share my story with all of you today. My mom bought me a Sweet Adeline's lifetime membership at the early age of 13. And I met many wonderful women that highly influenced me as I was growing up. However, I also experienced many unhealthy things during this impressionable time of my life that led me down a very dark path. By the time I was 23, I was completely lost and broken. I felt hopeless, so I checked myself into a treatment center in Arizona. I honestly thought that I would never sing again during this dark time of my life. However, while in treatment, I was encouraged to keep singing for my own personal well-being. 
something about releasing endorphins. Eventually, I mustered up enough courage to go to a Scottsdale chorus rehearsal. I can remember everything from that night. The moment that I walked in, Miss Lori Lyford immediately grabbed me and took me into another room and said, Aaron, I just have to know, what are you doing here? Why are you here? I learned that honesty and authenticity is essential in my own personal recovery. So without giving my head a chance to change my mind, I jumped right in and said, well, the truth is that I'm an alcoholic and I came out to Arizona for treatment and decided to stay. And as of right now, I have a little over six months sober. I'll never forget what happened after that. No judgment, no hesitation, just love. She wrapped her arms around me and told me how proud she was of me and that I have to tell the chorus. Before I knew what was happening, she had me standing in front of the risers with over 100 women on them staring at me as she said, everyone, Erin has something that she would like to share with you. <laughs> Now, I have always struggled with social anxiety, speaking, and being extremely awkward in person. But once again, I knew I had to be honest, and I said, hi, my name is Erin, and I'm an alcoholic. And as of right now, I have a little over six months sober. They immediately burst into applause, and they just kept cheering. And the longer they cheered, the more emotional everyone became, and it wasn't long before we were all in tears. That's when I knew I had found a home, a place where I would be accepted for me. Their continued love and support inspired and encouraged me to go back to school and get a degree in music therapy and become board certified. And as of today, As of today, I get to bring music therapy into mental health and substance abuse treatment facilities and help others that are struggling while sharing my experience, strength, and hope using music. Through it all, the beautiful women of the chorus in all my quartets and Sweet Adeline's International as a whole have helped me along my journey to grow into the woman that I am today. And for that, I thank you. That is what Sweet Adeline's means to me. What is your Sweet Adeline story? Hi, my name is Lindsay Chartier, and I have been singing in organized choirs since I was seven. My Sweet Adeline story began when I was 17 years old, and I started singing in a mixed quartet. I participated in the Rising Star Contest when I was 25, which is the oldest that you can be as a competitor. Over the years, I have seen much success on the contest stage, but that isn't all that I've gained from this hobby. For years, Barbershop and acapella singing have been looked upon as uncool, unpopular, and old-fashioned, and many young people shied away from it because of the stigma. I know, because I was one of them. I realize now that I didn't fully appreciate my experiences when I was younger, but you can bet that I'm so thankful for those that have been on my journey now. These days, thanks to the influx of modern musicals on the big screen, and our ability to share our experiences on social media, we are seeing that singing is something that can and should be shared by everyone. High school and collegiate a cappella are thriving. More kids are getting involved in their choirs, and that is exciting. But what happens after graduation? That is where we come in. The earlier that we can get involved in their lives, thanks to the Young Women in Harmony program, the earlier we can get them hooked. 
and show them that there's a place for them on our risers. And the best part, they can do this for the rest of their lives. We have a place for them where they can forge lifetime friendships, a place where they can be who they are and are encouraged to, to explore the beautiful, talented, and creative people they are. A place where they can think outside the box and learn to be the best version of themselves and in turn, help someone to discover the same. Why is your support so important today? Because with it, we are empowering the leaders of tomorrow, today. Thank you very much. And with your feed line story. <laughs> Hi, my name is Peggy Graham, and this is my 53rd year as a Sweet Adeline. Um, what has it done for me in 50, oh, in case you didn't realize, this is the young one, this is the middle one, and I'm the ancient one, okay. Um, what has Sweet Adeline's done for me in 53 years? Well, it's taught me more about music and the power of music than any college class or seminar or piano class or cello class I ever took. My affiliation and experience as a chorus director led to my getting a job in state government, creating volunteer programs, and a long career in state government. I had more prayers and positive energy swarming around me than anyone on the planet when I went through breast cancer treatments. I posted something about one of the chemo treatments one day, and my boss remarked to me that I had over 4,000 comments on Facebook. <laughs> he looked at me and he said, Peggy, the governor doesn't get 4,000 comments <laughs> on Facebook. I immediately told him that the governor was not a sweet Adeline. <laughs> we are there for each other, and we're there for each other through every stage of our lives. The births, our children's escapades, traumas and achievements, graduations, grandchildren, deaths, illnesses, marriages, the ups and downs, the ins and outs, the shows, the performances, and the competitions. Now, we might not be able to tell you in what year some particular thing happened, but if you give us a year, we can tell you that that year we competed in Dallas, we wore hot pink spangles, we won second place in the double A division, and most improved, and what two songs we sang. <laughs> I never ever dreamed at age 15 when I joined this organization, when I finally got to join, that 53 years later I would still be actively involved and a member. But truly, I cannot imagine my life without um, I can't also not imagine the world going on without it, can you? I mean, think about it. The effect that it has, the effect that it has had, and the effect that it can have on so many women's lives. That's why it's so very important for each of us to think about exactly the effect that it's had on our lives. I think it's time for us to realize that each of us has a responsibility to keep it going. If not us, who? If not now, when? Our dues don't pay for everything. If they did, they'd be higher and we wouldn't have so many women able to participate. So in a minute, you're gonna be asked to contribute. It's the once a year thing that we do. I want you to think about it. You've heard three stories. Think about what your own story is. Think about the impact that this organization and your quartet, your chorus, 
has had on your life, okay? Get out, not just the change from the bottom of your purse, but get out your wallet, get out your checkbook. And when North Metro comes around with those buckets, you be prepared. If you're sitting at home watching this, it's really easy. That donate button is right there on the side. <laughs> yeah? And if you'd like to use your credit card to make a donation, there's a booth over at Harmony Bazaar and they'd be happy to flatten that plastic for you, okay? <laughs> Give, it's just that easy. You can make a difference today just like the difference that Sweet Adelines has made for you. What's your story? At this time, will all the award presenters please report to the stage, the left side of the backstage area, and the 10 finalist quartets should report to stage right to the backstage of the area. Those of you with ballots for the most entertaining quartet, please remain near your seats until a convention assistant has collected your ballot. Thank you. Thank you so much, Starlets. That was absolutely beautiful. I hope that you'll indulge me just for a few more minutes um, so that I can tell you my sweet Adeline story. I think that we can see from Aaron, Lindsay, and Peggy what they have shared that the programs, services, and sisterhood of sweet Adelines doesn't just impact a few sweet Adeline members, but each and every one of us. 
the Young Singers Foundation, the Young Women in Harmony program, the Directors and Arrangers Certification programs, the Judging program, the international education events and conventions, the faculty program, regional leadership trainings, and so much more benefit all of us as members. From the young woman growing up in barbershop like Erin, to the journey woman performer like Lindsay, to the sweet Adeline legend, she's not ancient, she's a legend like Peggy. <laughs> All of these women will tell you that their lives have been undeniably shaped and enriched through their affiliation with Sweet Adeline's. So what about me? Well, as I look across the sea of faces in this audience today, I see the faces of women not unlike those who greeted me as I entered the rehearsal hall at my very first Sweet Adeline's rehearsal 35 years ago. Happy faces, welcoming faces. The faces of people I didn't know, but who wanted to know me, to bring me into the fold and show me a world of music and song and sisterhood like no other. I didn't know on that night in April in 1983, how my life would be unimaginably changed. Changed for the better and, as the song goes, for good. Like Aaron, I found a home, a family, a place where I would discover who I was, what I was made of, and what I could do. A place that awakened me and led me into a lifetime of supportive discovery feeding me opportunity after opportunity to dig deep, then deeper, and become. Repeatedly, as Lindsay said, someone empowered me in ways that I wasn't being empowered outside of my sweet Adeline's life. Being given those opportunities, that empowerment was literally life-changing. I am the woman I am today primarily through the opportunities provided by Sweet Adeline's International. I thought I had found a new hobby that night in 1983, but what I actually found was a life, and through it, I found me. I have learned so much because of Sweet Adeline's, how to be in relationship with others, how to be part of a team, what it means to consciously choose to walk beside and support the journeys of others, and then receive the gift of them supporting yours, which I so recently and blessedly experienced. Fail or succeed, I've learned life and sweet Adeline's would always give me another chance, and that in the end, winning and losing does not matter. What matters is what you've gained through the striving. And I've learned that when a group of passionate women put their hearts and minds together toward a common goal, we will move mountains. I could not have learned all these things and more without the women, the family of Sweet Adeline's. I've gained lifelong friends, sharing passions and dreams and all of the experiences that are of those dreams. Bonds of friendship that are impossible to break and that give us the best things of life. Peggy said, I can't imagine this world going on without Sweet Adeline's and the effect that it has and can have on so many women's lives. Well, neither can I. I. I can't even bear the thought of it. And I know you feel this way too, because my story, Aaron's story, Lindsay's and Peggy's story, they're all your story. The women of the world and the world in general need this place, this life-making, women-empowering organization, and it needs you. Peggy said it's time to realize that every one of us has a responsibility to keep it going. So take a brief moment to think about your sweet Adeline's story, and then give what you can so more and more women can write their stories. Stories of becoming, stories of discovery, stories that end with lives being changed for the better, for good. And now the house lights are gonna be being raised so that you can see the beautiful smiling faces of our outgoing champion, North Metro Chorus members, and their donation buckets. So now Peggy told you to whip out your wallets and even better, your checkbook so you can fill the buckets. I don't know about you, but I've learned that it's real smart to do whatever Peggy Graham says to do. <laughs> so 
nothing that jingles in the buckets, only donations that can be folded. Seriously, whatever you can give will be gratefully accepted and used on your behalf. Fill the buckets, and thank you so much, everybody.